Mm-hmm. Good idea. Can you walk us through the touchdown play? What was the coverage look that they gave you on that one? Did you guys know that that, that, that post was going to be there? Uh, yeah, we, we ran that all week against quarters, and then they came out. And their safeties were pretty run heavy, so they dropped when we did the, the fake handoff. So it was me one on one with number two. And the guards put up a good ball to line, held up, and made their blocks, and we were able to score on that play. What do you? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead Tracy, go. Uh, what do you think's been the biggest key for you, at least in that game against Minnesota? I mean, the first and fourth quarter, you know, you were really involved there. What was the key to, I guess, uh, you know, getting open and you know, getting some of those catches that you got? I just got to keep focusing on doing the best thing I can do to help help this team win. You know, you can only do your part, so I'm just working on doing my part every play and trying my best to help this team win some games. Last week, Logan said the offense got to get you more involved. That happened, that came to fruition this weekend. How good can this wide receiving room group be when you guys are all together, when Rico comes back and Logan and yourself and Quasi all playing together? I mean, how how dangerous can you guys be as a, as a group? I mean, we have a lot of talent in, the, in our receiving room this year. Um, so it's a blessing to have guys like that push, push me in practice and me being able to push them in practice and just be able to grow every day. So having that talent outside, we can obviously help this team win games. So we just have to continue doing our part in the run game, help them block in. And then when the ball comes our way, we got to make plays for this offense. What's your level of comfort in Coach Bienemy's offense now that you're basically halfway through the season? Well, I mean, I've been in this since the spring, so I'm extremely comfortable in it. It's like speaking my first language again, so it's it's really easy to learn, and I'm, I'm just glad that I've got more comfortable in it. And you can see it in other players, how fast we're able to play and communicate uh, on the field uh, with routes and concepts. So it's it's, it's it's nothing to us now, and we, we can put in new plays all the time, and they just come in seamlessly. How big of a priority is stretching the field here in the second half? Maybe getting some more of those deep shots that you saw inside. I mean, we love. I love to. I love to stretch the field. You know, it's really, really fun to to make those big plays. So when when the big play opportunities come, we're gonna try our best to make them happen. And we gotta make them happen for us to win some games. So we're we're gonna keep focusing on doing our part and helping the team win games by catching the ball, and making our blocks. You like the deep plays, but how important is it to get you involved in the short, you know, the, in the short plays, the intermediate throws, so so you can utilize that athleticism and, and do 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 work in those short and intermediate areas as well. I just know I can help this team in so many ways. So whether that's me catching the ball or me blocking for somebody else getting the ball, I'm gonna just continue to do my thing, and I know my teammates are gonna do the same thing. And obviously, with you know, a deep throw, a quarterback needs time to you know let the play develop and you know stay upright. What's been the conversations with Ethan as you know? Things still, you know, try to get figured out with the offensive line and the protection and all that. I mean, we have the utmost confidence in our offensive line, so they're working their ass off every day in practice, you know, learning their blocks, getting their reads down. So I have a lot of confidence in them that they're, when the, the big plays come, that they're going to be able to, to hold up their block. So we, we're just we're just focused on doing everything that we can to, to help this team move forward. What have you seen emphasize the discipline after the game on Saturday? Yeah. What are the player-to-player conversations like when you know that's something you got to work on? And we just focus on the little things, so whether that's taking notes in the, in the room, uh, sitting up in meetings, tucking our shirts in. Um, we just focus on looking like a team all the time and trying our best to work on being disciplined on the little things. So that, that's the biggest thing we've seen from player-to-player. What have you seen on film in Rutgers secondary and, and ways that you guys can exploit them this, this weekend? Uh, they're a good team. You know, they got a lot of athletic players over there. They're physical, and uh, I got a lot of confidence in our team. Um, I know we got a lot of guys everywhere, so we're going to go and be ready to go put on a show. So much has been made about the big travel that a lot of teams have to do this year. Do you have anything personal that you've changed for the longer road trips, or, or how much does it really affect you as a player? I mean, um, I live in Texas, so whenever I want to go home, this is a four-hour flight, so really hopping on a flight is really nothing to me. And this team, we're all from all over the country, so getting on a, getting on a plane is, is nothing really crazy to us. And once you get there, I mean, we can line up anywhere and play ball, so it really don't matter what plane, what, what bus we got to get on. This is ball at the end of the day. So it's cool to go to these new venues and, and be able to play a game that we love. I think the O line is cool. You know, JC, one of my best friends on the team, and you know, we fist bump every day with the O line. You know, we make jokes in the huddle. So this whole offense is really close, and you can see it when we play. I love playing with these guys, and it's it's just easy to mess with everybody on the offense. Josh Harlan especially. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned him. Yeah, What's his fun. personality like? Uh, JC, he's pretty funny. He's a funny dude. Um, easy guy to play for. Easy guy to play with. He's got a lot of confidence in himself. He, he knows what he's doing. And he, he helps bring up everyone around him. So that O-line is definitely following his lead. And them guys have a lot of confidence in him, just like I have confidence in him and the rest of the O-line. So it's, it's fun to have a guy like that in the O-line room. And all the guys are really similar. 
you mentioned as a receiver setting the blocks also for the run game. How can, in your mind, the running game get a little bit more involved and more and more explosive? Uh, we just have to help on the perimeter. We're blocking, you know, the biggest runs. That they, obviously, the O-line has to make their block too. But once the running back breaks through the line, they have to depend on us to, to break it, to make those extra yards. So we don't know which play they're going to break it on. So we got to be ready every play to go out and block and help our, our running backs too. As a receiver, what would you think of uh, TJ Harden's uh, catch and that <laughs> electrifying running that he made? Nah, it was lit. Uh, I, I didn't realize that he had to jump over somebody on the floor until I watched it back on film. But, I mean, you can see me. I'm sprinting, trying to help help get a, get a touchdown block. But TJ's my guy, so I block for anybody on this team. And just to have an opportunity to go like that and, and see TJ, you know, take off, it, it, it's fun. And I think when we talked to you back, what was it, July or whatever, at that EA event on, here on campus, mm -hmm. you mentioned this Rutgers game is one you were interested in just because yeah. it was the farthest back east so is that still the case yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun to fly all the way across the country and go play football um so i'm excited for it i know the team's excited for it and it's gonna be a fun day on saturday thank you, thank you. Thank you.